What do you think of when you hear the term academic integrity? Perhaps you think of looking only at your own test sheet during a quiz, or writing your own papers and giving credit where credit is due by using proper citation when you use direct quotes or paraphrase. You would be correct. Now, what do you think of when you hear the term academic dishonesty? Maybe you think about glancing to the left or right to see how someone answered a question on a test. Or maybe you think of buying or selling a term paper. Or even copying information from a book without proper citation. Well, you would also be correct. The academic integrity policy informs you on what it takes to complete your coursework with the highest quality and integrity, thereby remaining in good standing with the college. The policy in the college catalog states, Academic integrity is an essential and shared value in all of higher education of presenting one's own work and properly acknowledging that of others. Academic dishonesty occurs when the academic integrity policy is violated. Let's take a short look at some violations. Plagiarism is passing off someone else's work in all or part as your own. This includes submitting another person's words, either a direct quotation or paraphrasing, without proper citation. So please always cite your sources. Cheating is academic dishonesty, whether it be copying someone else's answer on a test or obtaining test answers, both will land you in the same boat, a sinking boat. Facilitating and helping someone commit academic dishonesty is a grave violation of the policy. Even if you did not use the information personally, you helped someone else cheat, and that's wrong. Another violation of the academic integrity policy is called fabrication. Fabrication is altering or transmitting academic information or records without authorization. Multiple submissions of a paper or project for credit in multiple classes without instructor permission is another example of academic dishonesty. Let me ask you this. Do you feel brainstorming with a fellow student on a homework assignment to be an accepted practice and not subject to the academic dishonesty penalties? Well, it may or may not be. Read the instructions for the activity. If it says, I expect you to work alone on this assignment, then no, it is not an acceptable practice. What about quizzes? Again, consult the activity instructions. If the instructions state, this is an open book, open note quiz, then you can use your notes and your book. But if the instructions say, no notes, no book, then to use them would be a violation of the academic integrity policy. Yes, even online. So, always read the instructions for all activities and assessments. If you are ever in doubt as to whether collaboration is permitted, ask your instructor. Violating the academic integrity policy at Mercy College will result in disciplinary actions ranging from notes in your academic record to a failing grade in the course, the dishonesty occurred, or even dismissal from the college. Please feel free to look over this information in your college catalog. It is a valuable resource in defining policy and the penalties. Thanks for joining me.